In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up Google Ads dynamic remarketing with Google Tag Manager. So without further delay, let's begin learning. To set up Google Ads dynamic remarketing, we need a data layer. The data layer schema will be the Google's recommended schema. And you can see here is the recommended events for Google Ads dynamic remarketing. And I will set up Google Ads dynamic remarketing to my Shopify store. And I have a recommended schema data layer. I will use this data layer to my store. And if you are using WooCommerce or any other CMS platform, your data layer will be the different. But you should follow this schema. And now let's see how I can set up a data layer on my Shopify store. You will get this document on video description box. I will select this get data layer document file. And then I copy this. Added this code on theme.liquid and I will go on the Shopify admin dashboard. Then here is my current theme. Then I will select the edit code and I will add this code on here. We have to create a snippets. The snippets name will be the ultimate data layer. Go to the snippets and select the add new snippets. Enter the snippets name and select done. And I have already created the snippets. Then you have to select the ultimate data layer. You will get the custom JavaScript code to enable the data layer. There is the lots of data layer code. And this data layer code provides us with product information. Select all code and copy and paste it here and save this. Remember one thing you should change this GTM container ID. Now I will check the data layer and you need a must be a Google Tag Manager account. I know you have already Google Tag Manager account. If not, Google Tag Manager account is created very easy. Just go to tagmanager.google.com and enter your required information. Then the account will be created. Then select the preview. And enter your website and select connect. If I visit any single product, and now if I go tag assistant preview mode, if I select the view item, select data layer and you can see here is the dynamic remarketing data layer is enabled. If I go to dynamic remarketing events list, you can see this schema and our schema is same. Now let's create a variables. We have to create two variables. One is value and the second is items. And if I go Google Tag Manager variable section, select new and select variable configuration and select data layer variable. And then copy this variable name. And then select the variable value. And save this. Again, we have to create the another variables for items. And again, copy this variable name, select new. And go to documents, select the items variable value. And again, save this. Our variable is created done. Now uh, we have to create a tags. Select the tags and select new, select tag configuration and select Google Ads, Google Ads remarketing. Before we have to create a conversion link or tag missing in container, just select create and save this and again save. Conversion link or tag found in container. Then we need a conversion ID. Go to your Google Ads account and select the tools and audience manager. 
and select the your data source and you will get the google ads tag select details and go down you can see here is the tag setup option select use google tag manager and copy this conversion id go to google tag manager and paste it here the conversion id and conversion level is optional and select the dynamic remarketing event data and event name select the variables and you will get here is the event variable here is the event custom event variable select this and we need a event value select this variable and we have already created the value select this value and select the events items and select the items dynamic remarketing variable everything is fine and select the triggering select the add trigger trigger configuration and select the custom event and event name will be i have added on document just copy and paste it here the view item add to cart view item list and select the use regex matching and the trigger name will be the google ads dynamic remarketing you can use any custom name and save this google ads dynamic remarketing tag is created done and save, save this tag and again save this and submit this container enter any version name and publish this container now let's test our container is everything is working or not select the preview and enter your website url again and select connect now if i select any single product and if i go tag assistant you can see here is the view item events is showing and here is the tag is fired the google ads remarketing if i select tag and you can see events item is collecting from data layer here is showing the event value here is the event name and here is the conversion id everything is working perfectly if i select add to cart and again go to the tag assistant preview mode you can see here is the showing again everything and the event name the add to cart that's mean our google ads dynamic remarketing is perfectly working thanks for watching this tutorial if you found this video useful show your support by hitting the thumbs up button below and if you are eager to learn more about google tag manager or google analytics consider subscribing to my channel i'm Habib and i look forward to seeing you in our next video until then take care have a great day